What's going on, everybody? Kellen Chafee, co-founder of Digital Freedom Movement. Welcome to the Tuesday Tech Talk. On uh, this talk, Tech Talk, guys, I'm going to be showing you guys how uh, to set up your columns uh, to, to track and to see how well your advertising is actually doing. Just to do a quick recap, you guys saw me from day one show you guys how to create a business page on Facebook. Then I showed you guys how to become affiliated with Amazon and how to choose a product and a bit about how that worked. I, I, as well, on the same video, I showed you guys how to build and how to target an ad campaign. I walked you through every little step about it. And then as well, on the next one, I showed you guys, on the fourth one, I showed you guys how to build a sales funnel and a bit about how that works and how that functions. So literally, all of the things that I've taught you prior are useless if you don't know uh, what to look for. Uh, when spending money on Facebook and when using paid advertising. So it's important that you know these things. So I'm just going to show you guys and give you guys some basics and some little tips and tricks uh, on some of the, 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 the stats that you should be following uh, when running paid advertising while promoting products like Amazon products and, and things like that. Okay. Again, guys, I typically don't do that. I do focus on medium and high ticket sales as I said a thousand times, uh, but this is what it is. Okay. Perfect. So, this um, campaign, guys, was for the Fire Stick off of uh, off of uh, Amazon, and so as you guys can see here, I'm just in my Ads Manager, and when you first start using Ads Manager, it's normally set in the performance column, so it allows you to track a number of things, um, very few of which are important when actually running to conversion or to see how much of your traffic is actually buying your product or service. So what I already what I did is I already made some dummy columns here. Okay, um, I'll, just, I'll show you guys really, really quick just how I did it. So if you were to select performances and clicks, and then you hit customize columns, you're able to set, remove whatever stats that you want to track or that you don't want to track. And it's really, really crazy what Facebook has done. Even since I started advertising in the last four years, they've done a lot of changes uh, and a lot more, um, a lot more um, techy in regards to what you're able to track with the pixel code. Okay, so. I'm just going to go down to the columns I've already made, Amazon columns. Perfect. So results under the results column. As you guys remember, when we when we built this campaign together, I uh, put it as the conversion as initiate checkout. So I wanted to tell Facebook to put my ads in front of people that Facebook knows initiate checkout and that convert on websites. So that'll always pop up in the results column here. Um, cost. Per, per result or cost per, per initiate checkout. So this is how much I am paying. So total money amount of the amount of money I've spent on the campaign divided by how many people have um, initiated the checkout process. That'll give me my cost per initiation. Uh, it's always good to know these numbers. Like what's it gonna cost me to get 10 people to initiate the checkout pro uh, process? And then what percentage of those 10 people are actually buying once they initiate? It's really, really important guys to collect this data. All right, moving on, uh, we have some other basic things, impressions. So this is how many times it's showing up in someone's timeline or how, how many views it's gotten or how many times it's appeared, sorry. Um, Link clicks, this is pretty basic. Um, as you guys, if you guys remember from the ad campaign, there was a learn more button. And so there was a link in there. Anybody who clicks that link, that counts as a link click, okay? Cost per link click and so on and so forth. Let me drag over here, awesome. So I also added in uh, ads to cart and website ads to cart, okay? So now I can see how many people are actually adding the product, how many people are going to be initiating the checkout process. And then as well, we have website purchases over here so I can see and the cost per website purchase so I can literally see all the way through from ad to sales funnel to the time they land on Amazon to the time they initiate the checkout to the time they buy the product I have full track I can see what's happening all the way through and the reason why that's important is because if my let's say my sales funnel is a piece of shit and it's not uh, people are just backing off right there and they're not even going up out, out to Amazon that's my weak link in my business. That's my weak link in my funnel. So if I don't fix that, I'm gonna end up spending a lot more money than what I would make. So the idea guys behind uh, marketing and advertising and selling products online is the fact that we have the power and the control to see all of this data number one. So what that means is nine times out of 10, when you start marketing, you are going to lose money. It's very, very seldom that I see people uh, start marketing products and services online and they just make a killing right off the bat. Usually uh, these kinds of things take time and they take money 
uh, to really collect the data to, just to see where your weak links are. Now, luckily for the students I coach, I spend my money doing this so that they don't have to. Um, but yeah, anyways, guys, so I'm just trying to think about what else I can elaborate on here. Uh, if you guys remember earlier as well in some of the trainings, there was a, something called a pixel code. And so what I'm just going to touch on this really quick. It's really advanced up when that, that pixel code is unique to every single ad account. And I do have a few different ad accounts on Facebook, but every one is for something different guys. So what that means is, is I can code that pixel for, to virtually anything that I want. And I'll just give you guys a basic, Customize columns, basic idea of just some of the things like uh, you can code this for standard events. So I would have to put a piece of code in my pixel for each one of these things if, if I wanted to track it. And then what I would do is I would, um, if I wanted to track uh, conversions on my sales funnel, I would put a special, special piece of code in that pixel that's unique just to that page so that it doesn't fire on every time someone lands in a different spot within my phone, if that made sense. No, I probably didn't. That's really confusing stuff, but don't worry. <laughs> All right, guys. If you guys have any questions about columns and how, kind of how that works, let me know. If you watched all four tech trainings or five tech trainings that I made and, and, and you got a good grasp on it, awesome, good for you. If you didn't, don't worry. It's kind of like the first time you learn algebra, right? You're like, you're, it's kind of confusing when you start, but once you get the hang of it, it just clicks. All right, guys, hope you guys are getting out there and killing it. If you guys got value from this, please like, comment, share it. And uh, that's it for this tech training. Thanks, guys. What's going on, guys? Kellen Shape here. I'm one of the co-founders of DFM, or Digital Freedom Movement. If you got value from that video, please like, subscribe, and as well, you'll see two links below. One of them is for our free open group on Facebook uh, where you can request to join. We'll give you guys free value and content, as well as there is a link below for our masterclass. Uh, that you can watch so I give you more detail on high ticket affiliate marketing, we'll give you more info on DFM, and as well you'll be able to speak with somebody personally one-on-one. -on -one. All right, get to it, and we'll see you guys on the other side.